Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this 3D pop-out logo reveal animation in After Effects. All this without using any third-party plugin. So let's see how to create this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and as I have mentioned that you can create this animation without using any third-party plugin or any script. But if you want, you can also use my free 3D extruder script and I will show you both the methods how you can use create this animation using this script and without this. Using this script will make your workflow very faster and you can use it for different purposes. But if you don't want to use it, then you can follow along. So first we are going to create a new composition and I'm going to call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 FPS. Just click on OK. Now I'm going to create another composition and let's call this logo. And I'm going to make this one 800 by 800. Just click on OK. Now I'm going to quickly drag my logo. So I have this After Effects logo and it's completely up to you. You can use whatever you want. Now it's quite big. Let me just press S and I'm going to scale this down. So I'm going to just scale this roughly something like this. So once you're done with this, we can go back to the main comp and we can drag our logo over here just like that. Now I can just scale this down. So let's press S and I'm going to set the scale to something like 45. And if you want to make this bigger, so it's completely up to you. Let's set this to 50. Now we are done with our logo and our next step is to add some 3D depth to it. Now, if you use my 3D extruder script, all you have to do is just simply select the layer, then click on the extrude and you can see that it will create all the extrusion. You can control it using the null object. And if I rotate it, you can see that it is 3D. Let me just quickly make this transparent so you can see that it's completely 3D and you can use it. And this script is completely free. It does have a paid version if you want to have some extra functionality. But if you don't want, then you can use the free one as well. But if you don't want to use the script, then you can follow along. Let me just quickly undo everything. So after importing the logo, you are ready to add some extrusion. So we can do that by using uh, expression. So let me just quickly select this. Let's press P for position. Now hold down the Alt key or Option key and just simply click on the stopwatch and you can see that we can type our expression. So I'm going to type this expression. So square brackets after that type position square bracket zero comma position square bracket one comma index plus index multiply by three. And now we are done with our expression. Just make sure that your layer is 3D. And after that, we are ready to add some extrusion to this. So we can select our logo. After that, just simply select this and we are going to duplicate it 15 times. So just press Ctrl D 15 times. So now we are done with this and let me just quickly select all of them. And I'm going to right click pre-compose and let's call this 3D logo. Just click on OK. After that, I'm going to create a null object and make sure the collapse transformation option is on just click on here and let's make both the layers 3d now we can parent the 3d logo to the null object and now if i rotate this you can see that we have 3d depth to the r logo which is exactly what we did with the script now let's go inside the 3d logo comp and we are going to apply fill effect so let's search for fill and i'm going to just drag it onto the second layer not the first one and after that, just select the fill, go to edit and click on copy with property links. And after that, you can select all the layers that are below it and go to edit. Just click on paste. Now you can control the fill effect using this single fill layer. So it's completely up to you. You can pick whatever color you want. I'm going to set this to white so that all the layers have white color except the top one, which is our final logo, something like this. So we can go back to the main comp and now if I rotate it, you can see that we have this very nice white extrusion. So we are ready to do some animation to this. So now let's add our background. So right click new solid and I'm going to change its color to this. Just click on OK. Let's place it below and let's start adding some animation. So I'm going to select this press R for rotation. Let's add keyframes. Also press S for scale. Let's add a keyframe. Now you can select this layer, press U to reveal all the keyframes. Now we can select all of them and let's move them to somewhere around two seconds. Let's go to over here. And at this point, I want my logo to be a little bit bigger. 
and I want this to be at uh, angle. So just play around with the angle, whatever you think looks good, something like this. Now at the beginning, I am going to change the rotation. So I'm going to just set this to something like this and I'm going to set the scale to zero. So if I play back here, you can see we have this sort of animation. Let's tweak this further. So select all the keyframes, press F9. Let's go to the graph editor. And if your graph looks different, then make sure you are in the edit speed graph, not the value graph. Now we can zoom in and let's select this point and I'm going to move it to the left side, something like this. And let's select this point and I'm going to move it to the right side. And also I'm going to select this endpoint and let's move it somewhere around here. Now, if I play back here, you can see we have this really nice animation and we are pretty much done with this. Now, our next step is to add some elements to pop out so we can create them easily by selecting the pen tool. And first, I'm going to enable the title action safe and now just zoom in and click somewhere in the middle and zoom out. After that, hold down the shift key and we are going to click somewhere around here so that it will create a line just like this. Make sure the fill is set to none and the stroke, you can set this to whatever you want. You can make it thick or narrow, however you want. I'm going to set this to something like this. Also, you can change the color. So for this example, let's set this to white, something like this. Now we are going to make it pop. So in order to do that, let's open this up and we are going to click on add. And first I'm going to add the trim path. Now let's animate this. So I'm going to open up trim path. Let's add keyframes for both start and end. And let's make both the values zero. And let's go to somewhere around here. Let's make both the values to 100. Now you can select the keyframes, press F9. Let's go to the graph editor. And I'm going to just make the graph to look something like this. Now you can select the top keyframes and let's move them a little bit further apart. So if I play back here, you can see we have this sort of animation. Let me just quickly solo this so you can see it clearly. So we have created this and we are going to create a bunch of different copies so that it will act as a pop. So in order to do that, just click on add and we are going to add a repeater. Now you can open up repeater and over here you can set the number of copies. I'm going to set this to eight. It's completely up to you. You can pick five, 20, whatever you want. After that, open up the transform for repeater and under here the position we are going to set both the values to zero and the rotation we are going to set this to 360 divided by number of copies so we have created eight copies so i'm going to divide it by eight and now you can see we have created this very nice pop something like this and if i unsolo this and let me just quickly place it below our logo and let's change its position so i want the pop to come somewhere around here so here you can see we have this really nice pop now if you want to play around with its length then you can just simply select the pen tool and you can play around with the starting and end point you can make it further or you can change its angle however you want you can make it bigger smaller just like that now if you don't want the pop to come from the bottom then you can select the this point and you can move it further so now you can see that our pop will only come from this point but i want this to start from the middle something like this so over here you can see we have this really nice pop and if you want you can select this press ctrl d to duplicate it after that you can select this and i'm going to move this to somewhere around here and we can select this press u now you can select the keyframes from the top and you can move them closer so that this will make the pop shorter and we can also change its stroke so i want this to be a little bit thinner and let's change its color so i'm going to pick this dark color something like this so if i play back here you can see we have this really nice pop and once you're happy with this we are ready to add some shapes so in order to do that just select whatever shape you want you can select rectangle polygon or ellipse for this example, I'm going to select the polygon because we can change the number of sides and we can have different shapes. So let's just simply click anywhere you want. Then just hold on the shift key and just create a shape. Just go under the polystar and from here you can control the shape by using the number of points. 
So if you increase this quite a bit, you can see that now it's acting as a circle, which is something like this. So once you're happy with your shape, you can select the shape and let's select the move anchor point. And now I'm going to select the anchor point and just hold down the control key so that the anchor point will snap to the center of this comp, something like this. So once you are done with this, we are ready to add the copies. So right click, let's open up repeater. Again, let's open this repeater and let's add copies. So I'm going to add eight, open up the repeater. Let's set the position of both to zero. After that, again, rotation, we are going to divide 360 by eight. Since we have eight copies, we can press S and just animate the scale, something like this. So in the beginning, I'm going to just set this to zero. Let's add a scale. And let's go to somewhere around here and I'm going to make this bigger something like this. So over here you can see we have these circles and if you think that these are too big then you can select this and let's open up the polystar under the transform you can lower down its scale something like this. Also we can select this and let's search for stroke and let's add a keyframe for stroke width. Let's press U and I'm going to animate the stroke width. So in the beginning, we are going to just have a little bit of stroke. And after that, we can make this a little bit thicker. And somewhere around here, let's set this to zero. Now we can select the scale keyframes, press F9. Let's go to the graph editor and I'm going to make this something like this. So here you can see we have the very nice pop. And if you think that this is too dark then we can make them lighter something like this so over here you can see we have this really nice circular pop now we can add some rotation to this so let's press r and i'm going to just rotate it something like this and let's place it below our logo so if i play back here you can see we have this very nice pop just like that now if you want to change the shape all you have to do is just go inside the polystar and you can just simply decrease the shape to something like square. So now you can see we have these really nice popping squares. You can select this, press Ctrl D and we can probably scale this even bigger. Something like this and let's rotate it and let's change its color to white and just play around with the parameters. So now we have created the additional circles and if I play back, you can see we have created this very nice pop. And after that, we have our logo reveal. Now at the end, if you want, you can also duplicate them and let's press Ctrl D and let's move them to the top and we can just place them at the end as well so that it ends with a pop, something like this. Here you can see we have the pop at the end as well. So this is how you can create these kind of animations. Now, the best thing about this technique is that if you want to change the logo, all you have to do is just go inside the logo comp just replace it with the different logo and let me just quickly scale this down just hide this and if i go back here you can see we have changed our logo and all the elements are already applied so now you can change the background color and the elements color and you are ready to go the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one